Hey Andy. Um, I have, I was going to text you um, earlier today, um, but since you're Marco Poloing, I thought I would just Marco Polo you. I went and got my blood work done yesterday, and I have my follow-up appointment with my endocrinologist tomorrow, and I just got my results this morning. At Hello. Hey babe, how you doing? So I got my blood work done, or back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Where did you get it for an old guy? Yeah, <laughs> that's good news. Yeah. Hey, I just got um, my blood work done yesterday for my endocrinologist appointment tomorrow. Okay. And I wanted to tell you what my results were for that. Oh, okay. Are you turning green or something? I am. No. <laughs> no. Remember how I have been in pre-diabetic range? Oh. With my A1C? Maybe I haven't told you that. But, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, my my numbers three months ago um, were 6.2 for the, my A1C. Okay. And today they are. I am officially not in the pre diabetic range. Good for you. I know, I'm very happy. I'm one number. I'm at the high number of not being in range. But, but still, where you been? I know, right? And I mean, if you just keep doing what you're doing, you'll probably get a couple numbers away from it, you know what I mean? Well, and now it's, it's one, staying away from that edge, and then just <laughs> losing weight, because that's really like what's doing it, and making new habits and whatnot, and if I can like start working out on top of just walking, then that's like gonna like double it. Good for you. Thank you. It's not like it's been easy, easy, you know what I mean? You have to put a lot of work and dedication into it. Yeah, a lot of changes. And you've been doing it for a long time, that's the hard part. You can do it, a lot of people can do it for a short period, but sustaining it, it's hard. Well, it's making new habits. I realized that when things weren't changing fast, or weren't, you know, I was getting frustrated with it, but the consistency is where, when the changes happen, so. Yeah, yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you. Make yourself with a big map. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Today, they are 5.6. Well, that's great. Good yeah, goodness. yeah. So I, I've been working hard and working out and walking and eating okay. and yeah. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. It's been a hard that's journey. Great. But yeah. Well, that, yeah, 5.6, you can live with that for a long time. Yeah, and if I can bring it down a little bit, then I'm not teetering that line, you know? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't want to tempt myself. Like I just told Jason and he was like, yeah, go get a Mac, Big Mac to celebrate. And I'm like, yeah, that'll put me over to the other side of the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. If I do say so myself. I got my A1C results yesterday, if you can tell from the videos. Me telling my dad, Jason, and then Marco Poloing with my sister, um, who has been with me on this little journey of mine, and I'm very happy to have her as my one of my little supporters. Um, she just happened to Marco Polo me this morning, and I had wanted to send her a message um, telling her the results, and so it was perfect for me to just be able to Marco Polo her. Um, I don't have her reaction um, because she had to go to work, so I didn't wanna like, you know, bother her with her reaction, but I know she's going to be very excited for me. Um, yes, pre-diabetic range. I'm reading it from my result. Um, and this is putting myself way out there, you guys. I, I have put myself out there through this journey and you guys have helped me stay accountable. And I hope by doing so, by being vulnerable and putting myself out there, that it will help you guys. And I'm not requiring you guys to be vulnerable back and give me your stats or your progress or your journey, I'm, I'm not requiring that in any way, shape or form. But being able to hear it for some, from someone who's currently going through it and it's hard, it is not easy to do. We're gonna bring it down over the next the couple weeks, couple months. Um, but if I can bring that number down, and uh, this is a motivation for you guys, um, because I realized that I have officially dropped 20 pounds. I told you that yesterday. I've officially dropped 20 pounds through Halloween. Well, through back to school, through Halloween. Um, actually, like even further back, the end of summer, barbecues, picnic, parties, Halloween, back to school, 
Thanksgiving. I have dropped 20 pounds through all of those holidays and events. If I can do that and bring this number down, I have hope for the next two weeks of the holidays. I have to still get through the holidays. I still have parties planned. I'm still gonna go, I'm still gonna eat. I'm still gonna not choose the right things. But if I can still hop on that treadmill, it's right down there below my desk, and, and I'm gonna start working out and doing different things, I can bring this number down and my weight, I think I can bring down to a number. I'm not, I don't work off of um, numbers necessarily with my weight, but I do have some goals that I would like to drop down to next. I work in small increments. I didn't necessarily work on 20 pounds, but that made me feel good when I got to 20, 20 pounds down. That's not the total amount that I've lost. I think I've lost almost, oh, more than 40. I've lost more than 40. So that's pretty good. <laughs> That's really good. So I just have a new goal of not losing a certain amount, but that will get me to a weight that will make me happy. Like I just haven't been that weight since before I started having kids. That makes sense. My super skinny weight before I started having kids, but like when I had my first two kids, hang on. When I had my first two kids, and I'm just gonna make this video about, and then we'll cut it and we'll do it in a different video for the day, but when I had my first two kids, I went into that with an un, well, I started it um, about a year before I had Kaylee with an undiagnosed uh, thyroid issue. And I had gained 20 pounds the first two years that I was married and I worked out five days a week. I had worked out hard five days a week, but I had a sit down job. So I came home after that workout and I ate and I went to bed. I gained 20 pounds. So then probably another 10 pounds later, uh, a year later, I started having kids. And so I didn't start having kids at a decent weight. I was still skinny in my mind now. I'd love to be that weight. Uh, so I started having kids and I didn't lose the weight after having kids, like after delivering my kids. I never lost weight from breastfeeding. It, it just didn't happen. I would lose like, you know, say 20 pounds or something, but I would never lose my stomach gut after. I would never shed the weight. My chest never decreased in size. Uh, my sister can shed 40 pounds a week after she has a baby. And so that's what I'm trying to get back to. I'm trying to just get back to this, this weight that I was kind of in the middle of having those kids where I know that if I can get to back to that, it's just gonna be, I'm gonna be more healthy. I'm gonna be more comfortable in my own skin. So I have a few more things to do. Um, there's a label on there with our address on it. Um, I have wrapping. Finally, I have to start wrapping presents today. And I officially only have four hours until I have a child home. And I also need to make cookies. So I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna take you on that journey in another video because I'm also trying to get caught up and ahead of the game for the holidays. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna wrap presents, make cookies, spend the day with Ashley. Stay tuned for that. And if you are on this same diabetic, pre-diabetic, worried about being on that journey, comment below or go and find me on Instagram. You can DM me on Instagram and, and do that privately. I have a lot of people that do that. 100% um, fine. It's just Dana Creates over on Instagram. Same as here on YouTube. Um, because some of you have helped me in this journey. Actually, a lot of you have helped me in this journey, whether you're on the same path as me or not because it's just about motivating each other. It's just about like, hey, you know, let's hop on the treadmill today or wow, I can't believe you walked that much yesterday. I think I'm gonna try and at least walk half that today. If anything, I'm just here for you guys. I'm still, I, ha I still have a huge journey to go on. Like I I could easily, no, it wouldn't be healthy. If I, if I dropped 100 pounds, I probably would not look healthy, but I could lose another 50 pounds and actually feel really good about myself, but that 50 pounds is going to be hard and you're still here with me. And I love having you guys as my support and and I would love to be there for you guys. So thank you for this um, participation and the, the help and the support that you guys offer to me. Jason's a huge support. My dad is a huge support. My fam Some of my siblings are a support. Um, find people that you trust to let in um, to give you that support because I know I don't trust, you know, everyone. Like it's an insecurity and uh, I don't want anyone to make fun of me. I don't want anyone to like insult me. 
Um, you know, I am not a skinny girl. I'm just not. And I, you know, accept that and I'm working on it. So take care and good luck. And let me know how I can help you guys if you need um, motivating messages sent back to you on private DMs over on Instagram. I'm right there for you. I'm right there because I understand what it feels like and, and, know, and I'm going through it. And I might need it from you as well. So take care and we will see you guys next time. Of kindness yet for all